Hey guys, my name is Priyanka and I'm a watercolor artist. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how easily we can make this beautiful lemon painting. It's an easy tutorial and I'm sure you will benefit a lot from this. So let's get started. I've kept the sketch ready to save on the drawing time and in case you need this, please message me. I will send you the image. So I've started by giving a clear wash to our lemon number one, which I'm going to start with. And after the clear wash, I've given a flat wash of lemon yellow pigment. After that, I'm using gamboche yellow and spreading that after clearing my brush. That is spreading the pigment with a clean brush. And now I'll give a touch of bright orange. So just taking a hint of orange on the tip of my brush and giving that on the lemon. Please note that the pigments are neither too watery nor too thick here. After doing this much, I leave it to dry and come to the second lemon. So here the same way, a clear wash and then lemon yellow. I'm doing the paint in circular movements in the shape of the lemon while leaving some white spaces. Now I had uh, mentioned these in my previous tutorials also that uh, leaving uh, clear white spaces is very important in watercolor. So after this, now gamboche yellow and spreading that as well in circular motions. So you can see I'm not taking a lot of pigment but just spreading the pigment quite well in this small area. So now again, I'll give this a hint of orange. So we will try to give a realistic look to the lemon. Though it's not a very intricate painting, but still, of course, it should look realistic. It should never look flat. So now we will leave it to dry and come to the next lemon. After drying, when the paper has absorbed the water and the pigments have mixed well, we will come to know of how to go about with the next layers. That is how much more pigment do we need to apply in the next layers. So for the third lemon also, we're going to do in the same way, a clear wash first and then lemon yellow and gamboche hue yellow and then a touch of orange. So once the initial layers of these three lemons are done, I'll come to the, the, the second layer of the lemons. So now I come to doing the second layers and I'm using the same pigments that is lemon yellow, gamboche yellow, bright orange to do these. No darker tones. So you can see that I'm using very less pigments and whenever merging is required, I'm cleaning the brush first, dipping it in clear water, cleaning it and then I'm doing the next layers. It's a very beautiful artwork and 
it may be looking tough at times but trust me believe me it's actually not you just have to feel how much pigment you have to apply at which place like lemon is a very small fruit no so to give it a feel of roundness and to give it a 3d look um we generally apply more orange towards the the outside and towards the bottom no and it will be light towards the center and we are also leaving some white space in between so once you know where which pigment to be applied slowly your work will start improving So you see that as the second layer is getting done the lemon is starting to have some character and look and shape Now I will apply some burnt sienna brown on the edges to give it a further uplift and after brown I will give some sap green on this I'm using very less pigments here dipping just the tip of my brush in the pigment and then applying it on the artwork Now I'm applying a little bit of sap green as well. So sap green here looks beautiful. we can begin to see the layers now let's leave this um to dry now at this stage and we come to our next lemon so here also we're going to work in the same way as the first layer is done now we come to the second layer and we will be using a little bit of gamboge hue bright orange and sap green it's just a matter of some practice and you can easily paint such artworks very well it's a slightly long tutorial but please have patience start painting with me stay with me till the end practice it twice or thrice and gradually you will be able to paint such artworks with greater perfection and confidence beginner friends may be feeling that it's a difficult painting or the work they will do may not come out that well it may look flat but don't worry it's all about practice practice twice thrice and you will not find it tough anymore it's all about how much pigment you are using you taking in your brush how soft your hand is and all that comes with practice it's called experience so practice 
whenever you get time. And not only these tougher artworks, more realistic artworks also will, will become relatively very easy for you. Also, the quality of paper and the quality of brush affects our work. The finish which we get working on a 100% cotton paper does not come when we are using papers with lesser cotton content. Um, the quality of brush also affects how soft our brush is, where how much softness is required. So choosing that kind of a brush also matters a lot. So if possible, first try and invest in a 100% cotton handmade paper that will really uh, improve the quality of your work. shading part or doing this layering actually is is very crucial this is what is going to give a, a kind of 3d look to our lemon you have to decide for yourself which pigment you want to apply more there is no hard and fast rule that we have to give more of burnt amber brown or more of sap green or more of orange whichever you want uh, to be highlighted that you can choose yourself and give here if, if you want a more greenish lemon then give more of sap green if you want a more ripened um, lemon, then give more of yellows. So uh, this is all up to us. Now I'm doing the second layer with uh, gamboche yellow and using a hint of burnt umber brown. Just very less of brown only for the shading. And just keep in mind that we have to keep a very soft hand at all times. See just a little bit of brown and we are giving that at the part at the, the bottom part and on the sides. On the tip as well, wherever a, a darker tone is required.
and like whenever i'm coming to the middle part um i first clean my brush and then i'm using a uh, gamboche yellow now along with gamboche yellow at certain places i'm also giving a a tone of um yellow ochre okay so in total it is lemon yellow gamboche yellow yellow ochre coming to um burnt umber brown and uh, bright orange so we have to see which place where to apply what color like in the center it's normally it's only lemon yellow and uh, gamboche and a bit of uh, ochre that i'm applying whereas um, sap green and burnt umber is more towards the outside and the upper part and the bottom part so that these are so many colors which are playing their part here but in a very less quantity and very softly and they mixing quite well into each other i again say that the key here is only patience and practice have patience like once it may not come out well practice again second time it will improve practice again and the third time you will definitely um, find a lot of improvement in the work now we come to doing the stem um here i'll be using three colors the like gamboche yellow yellow ochre and burnt sienna brown i'm not mixing the colors using them separately to give shading wherever required Now to give this um, dark effect in um, the the branch, I'm mixing just a little bit of black in my burnt sienna. Okay, so this gives kind of a realistic look to the branch as well. coming to the leaves 
for the leaves i have used gamboge yellow a bit of lemon yellow sap green and viridian hue green first i'm doing the initial base coats for the leaves using um, gamboge yellow and sap green so i'm painting all the leaves letting them dry and then i'll come to the second layers so once the base coat for all these leaves is done i again come to the first leaf and i'm giving the shading with sap green So you see there is no set pattern for painting the leaves and painting them very loosely You just need to feel which pigment and how much of it we have to apply at places Now just giving a, a touch of lemon yellow towards the tip This also I'm sure with practice you can paint leaves very well. If you refer to my previous tutorials on uh, the rose and um, the snake plant which um, you can refer to my previous two tutorials. One is on the the rose flower uh, and the other one is the snake plant wherein uh, in detail I had uh, discussed how to paint the leaves.
Also, these kinds of paintings take some time to finish. So have patience. Always finish your artworks. Don't leave them in between if you think they're not coming out that nice. So now we come to our fourth leaf and here also I'm giving a touch of ochre, gamboche yellow, brown and sap green. I'm painting it very loosely and after our artwork was finished now we come to the And now after the artwork was um Once it was done, um, I thought we need to give a bit of finishing to it. So with the now the branches, I'll be finishing using uh, dark burnt umber. That is mixing a, a bit of black in burnt umber and giving the uh, the de the details to it. Also, try to finish your artworks. A lot of times we feel they're not coming out nice and we leave them unfinished. We leave them in between. Please don't do that injustice with your artworks. Finish them and they will come out beautiful. When we had just done the lemons it was not looking that great but now that the branches but now that the branches are done the leaves are done the artwork is looking finished on finishing it is looking nice it's it looks complete so my request always is please finish your work don't leave it in between so guys this is our lemon painting if you have any queries please write to me and I will try and answer them ASAP. Also, if you have any suggestions for me or if you want me to cover any particular artworks, please write to me and I will plan my next tutorials on that. Thank you so much friends for watching the tutorial. If you like it, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, share the videos.
Thank you so much friends for watching the tutorial. If you like it, please hit the like button, share the videos and subscribe to my channel. Keep writing to me for any suggestions. See you soon in the next tutorial. Till then, stay safe. Goodbye.